Hello and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video and in this video I want to show you one of the ways by which you can basically remove this particular text which is sum of sales or sum of profit and uh, you have sum of sales and sum of profit over here in legend as well as in title. So you know in a properly formatted chart we simply need sales and profit by year and month or sales and profit right. So all of that you can very easily uh, you know change it. Otherwise, you know, if you don't know this method, what I'm going to show you, then you will be, you know, spending thousands of hours figuring it out. Because if you go in format your visual, you know, you try to change the legend. Uh, let's say in the legend, you can change it like uh, coming over here, you have legend. And what is a title? You can give a title, maybe I don't know, legend, for example. But what it gives is this legend and not a title, not a correction over here, right? Similarly, you can change the title over here by going here in general title and you know you can make a correction like this sum of profit and sum of sales but what i'm going to tell you is something where you will find it more meaningful and useful uh, for your scenarios right where automatically it should do that you don't have to go to the title and all okay so I will show you two ways by which you can do that. And before that, just a quick information that if you have landed very first time on my channel, then you should know that uh, this Google spreadsheet where I keep, for which the link I keep it in description, uh, you can come over here, like these three people are here and uh, search any of my previously videos that I have posted. I am on, I believe 252 second video over here. and by searching it based on the title you can come over here in column b and uh, jump on to that video also i have mentioned a lot of exercise videos which you can find it from here okay so coming back to the power bi um power bi the very first thing very easy stuff that we can do is uh, we come over here in add data to your visual we have this what i do is i double click over here and it goes into the edit mode and I remove it, right? So you have sales, sales and profit by year and month, right? So it's all gone. So sum of profit or sum of sales, but in this case, sum of profit is coming. So what I'll do is I'll double click over here and I remove it, okay? So I have sales profit and I have corrected it. Another way by which you can do that is you can come over here and I'm trying it right in front of you. I have not done this previously. So right now sales and profit is here. So what I'm doing is I'm removing the sales and profit. But what I'm doing is I'm bringing this I'm profit and I'm sales. And let me see. Yeah, you see only the name it is giving sales and profit. So what you need to do is you need to basically say the or keep the aggregation in the measure. The way you create the measure if you have never created it. Uh, you come into this home tab, you click on the new measure, it will give you this window where you can give the measure name, in this case, M profit, right? You can have it like uh, profit underscore or something like that so that, you know, it gives you the value over here and the aggregation is here. That way, Power BI is not doing the automatic aggregation because you have already specified the aggregation. Similar, so in that case, it simply display you this field. Also, this is a best practice rather than directly using the sales or dragging it over here. Uh, where was the profit? Profit dragging it over here and then it does the aggregation. Not a best, best practice. Best practices is this. Okay. So that is something which I wanted to show you uh, how you can do it very easily with the help of two different methods. Method number second is a preferred method. Okay. So make sure you utilize this and I'll meet you in the next video with the new topic.